right around the corner is the update to American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 1.50. With this is going to come a lot of changes to materials and things like that. And people have started noticing that importing certain things, especially directly from an SES file, if it was created by SES, does not work in ConverterPix wrapper when you try to import it into Blender. You get things like this, which are shown on the screen here. What I'm going to do is show you an easy way to get around this situation that has arisen. So let's get started. First, what you're going to do is you're going to get a hold of the SCS extractor. Now, if you're using the 1.5 files, you're going to have to use the new 1.5 extractor, which is available on the SCS wiki or the original SCS extractor, which is shown here, as well as the base SCS file that you're going to use. In this case, this is from 1.49. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, the whole pur purpose of Pix wrapper is that it imports directly from SCS. Well, Currently, there is a problem with that. Uh, it seems that SCS has done something to the SCS files retroactively, meaning even 1.49, 1.48.5, 1.48 have all been um, affected by this change. So even if you roll back your game to the beta, say 1.48, uh, the extractor, the converter picks extractor will still not work correctly. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually drop this onto the extractor like you normally would do, and then we'll show you what happens at the end. Here you can see that the extractor pulled everything out of the base SCS file. And now we're going to go ahead and import something from the own trailer section. In this case, we'll do the SCS box or something of that nature into Blender. So let's open that now. Let's go ahead and change our folder here because I don't want anything to go into what I'm working on. So we will go down to the test mod folder right here. So navigating to that same folder, we're still going to use the import SCS models, converter picks and Blender tools. Here's the base test. This is what I just extracted. You can see the base SCS still here, but we're not going to click on the base SCS. We're going to leave it on the base test. If I select import models, it's still going to bring up the contents of this folder without selecting the SCS file. Go to the trailer, trailer owned, let's say the um, <clears throat> SCS box chassis. We'll do the 48 spread axle. And there you go. So it is still here. And then I can go ahead and select the body node. And we'll go back and do the same thing. Again, this is just the folder. Import models from here. We want to go back up to body 48. So there you are. So that is still working. That is the way to do it currently right now, instead of going through the standard practice. The one issue that you will have to overcome for yourself is extracting this. You will also have to import into your mod if you have not saved these things. You will have to go into things like material environment 
because that has all your reflections. You'll have to also go into vehicle, um, share, as well as trailer share potentially, which is here. And any of the shared type of files you may need, you will also have to copy over manually into your mod um, so that you can access them through the um, this particular way. This is another reason why, in my case, like for what I'm working on, which I will show you really quickly now, if I change my project base path again to the project that I'm working on, if I go to the Tomisco that I've been working on, everything is still in the middle format. Additionally, I save everything I work on in a blend file. So now all of my, all the chassis I'm working on, all the body parts, all the accessories are all in one file and I don't have to worry about importing everything else and changing to new functions and doing anything like that because they're already in the blend file by themselves. They don't, I don't have to load up a SCS file every time and try to import it that way. You should always be saving in the middle format at least. So the PIX, which is the pit PIM, or in a blend file ready to be exported. So just another thought. Um, so again, like I was saying earlier, make sure that you extract using the extractor, the base SCS, then import from the this uh, overhead root folder here instead of selecting the base SES and then you will be able to load um, sp specific things uh, models from inside that folder as well so I hope that helps you on your uh, quest here to be continuing your modding uh, during this uh, transitional time where they move to 1.5 hopefully they'll get us some tools and uh, converter picks will get updated so that it can handle the next version of the extractor or whatever is uh, has changed on their end. So I hope this helps you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.